Hey, welcome back to Gears, where we are in the process of refurbishing the bed on this old 59 Ford step side for the Hero Box organization. Now, as we've shown you before, the Hero Box guys are doing a good job bringing this old truck back to life. But what may surprise you is that none of them have ever restored a vehicle before. So they are literally learning as they go, like a lot of you guys are. And it has been a great journey for them. Check this out. We found this in a barn in South Georgia. It's been sitting there about 30 years. And at first, we were going to kind of rat rod it. We didn't have a lot of experience or you know, know how to do this. And, and a lot of people saw what we were doing and kind of came on board and, and pushed us in a different direction. So we're going to put a lot of time into this and take it around car shows. And, really raise really support for our mission and the troops. We got it painted, so we got a little more body work and finishing to work to do on the cab and the front fenders and the hood, and we'll be in paint in the next uh, few weeks, hopefully. Now, since we wanted to help Hero Box out and support what they're doing, we've already fit a really nice wood bed kit to the bed. We're just waiting for that to dry. So it's the perfect time to turn our attention to other areas of the bed. Okay, most people realize that these old truck beds are just a single piece of sheet metal. So they're really easy to dent up and damage when you throw junk into it. And since the Hero Box guys do plan on throwing things into this bed, it would be really nice if there was some way to protect this bed and still keep it looking good. Well, there is a way to do that. Come on. This is brand new from Duplicolor, and it's a do-it-yourself bed liner kit called bed armor. And one of the reasons they call it bed armor is it has Kevlar in it, which is exactly the same thing they use in bulletproof vests. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is tough. Now, it's a water-based polyurethane that you can use to protect wood, metal, or fiberglass. And as you can see, come in here, you have got rubber particles right in the paint, which means this stuff is going to stay very flexible and be extremely impact resistant. So you can pretty much throw stuff in the bed and it's just gonna bounce off of it. Now, as you can also see, you also have a special roller, trays, paint brushes, and all the stuff you're gonna need to put this on. The first step is to make sure the bed is clean of all dirt, grease, and grime, and then scuff the surface with the included pad. Now, this will make sure that the bed armor gets good adhesion to the surface. Next, you're ready to tape off the bed, and this keeps the bed armor from getting into areas you don't want it in, because once it dries, it's not coming off. To put on the bed armor, it's just a matter of mixing it up good. Whoa, that's some thick stuff. Pouring it in the tray and rolling it on. <laughs> The unique texture of the roller allows the rubber particles to spread out uniformly over the surface to give you superior protection and a great look. For most beds, you're going to want to put on at least a couple of coats. Once it's dry, all you do is pull off your tape and you are ready to go. Now, one of the cool things about this bed armor is that it's paintable. So if you want this to match the color of that, all you do is spray the paint on it. You're going to have this color with the texture. Now, I know some of you guys are wondering just how strong and how flexible this stuff really is. Well, take a look. This is a little sample here, and you can see it doesn't get much more flexible or rubberized than this. Now, Duplicolor designed this stuff to be a bed liner, but it would also be an incredible undercoating or sound deadener for your fenders or the bottom of the vehicle, and it's affordable. So you literally can undercoat the whole vehicle and not put yourself in the poorhouse. All right, all we have to do now is reassemble the bed. Yeah, what a difference a little bit of wood makes. Now, what we've got here is a great combination of functional and cool. It looks good, but it's still completely usable, and that is what you want. All right, now that we're done with the inside of the bed, we're going to turn our attention to the outside. Now, like I said before, LMC truck has just about every part that you could ever need to restore your old rig, including these original style tail lights. However, since we are customizing this truck a little bit, I'm going to get away from this stock look and do something a little slicker. So what I've got here is a pair of Corvette tail lights from 63 to 67 that we got from year one. Now these are really slick. They have the recessed bullet lens. They got the chrome bezel and they're just gonna look awesome. The problem is these are worlds apart. So how do I know something like that's gonna fit? Well, check it out. By using a contour gauge, 
we were able to determine that the angle of the rear fender is an almost exact match to the 63 to 67 inboard Corvette taillight. But that is not all. To go with these taillights, we also got these stainless steel exhaust tips from Style & Trucks. Now this part goes inside the panel. This is the polished trim ring that goes to the outside. Now what we're gonna do is mount these in the lower part of the fender so the exhaust will blow right out the bottom of the fender. <laughs> yeah. Now the cool thing is about both of these modifications, all you have to do is decide where you want them and then cut your holes and bolt them in.